The Crystal Coast is a popular spot for visitors to enjoy a taste of eastern North Carolina's beauty. But officials on the island are seeing a not-so-pretty increase in water rescues from the holiday weekend. Now in your sides, Kayla Schmidt joins us live from Atlantic Beach. And Kayla, how many people were pulled from the water during the 4th of July festivities? Angie, 13 people here in Atlantic Beach and 26 people were pulled from the water over in Emerald Isle. Officials say multiple first aid calls were also made. A handful had to take a visit to the hospital, but luckily nobody died. Most importantly, rescuers were able to ensure family and friends could leave the island together. Emerald Isle and Atlantic Beach officials made sure rescue and EMS workers were prepped and ready for the crowds July 4th weekend brings to the coast. July 3rd was a small preview. Uh, July 4th was uh, a large task for the lifeguard team. That task includes 14 water rescues called into the radio and 26 people pulled from the water in Emerald Isle. William Mathias, ocean rescue coordinator for much. the town, says swimming guide flags were yellow at the time of most of those rescues, meaning swimmers have a moderate risk of rip currents and should be aware of where they are swimming. Everyone uh, made it out safe on the beach strand. Uh, I do know a few of them were transported to the hospital just for precautionary measures. Atlantic Beach is also seeing an increase in weekend water rescues with lifeguards rescuing 13 people from the ocean, along with a near drowning patient pulled off the Oceana Pier and a lost child call, says Deputy Chief Casey Arthur with the Atlantic Beach Fire Department. We had a uh, left to right pretty hard longshore current that was going on most of the, the weekend, and also the rip currents were pulling pretty good. Arthur said six lifeguards and a full fire rescue staff were on the job and assisting with multiple calls all weekend. One rescue was also assisted by surfers. The swimmer receiving cuts and abrasions from the pier and had to be transported to the hospital. While staffing was able to handle it, off holiday weekends may look different. We caution anyone against going in the ocean if they're not comfortable anyhow, but especially on a red flag day. And then our double red flags would mean do not enter the water at all, and that's actually a town ordinance that can be enforced by law enforcement. Now, a time you might see those double red flags is during a hurricane or tropical system. I asked both leaders their preparations for the incoming tropical system, Elsa. They said they are more than prepared to keep up with tracking. You can follow our Storm Team 9 meteorologists. For now, live in Atlantic Beach, I'm Kayla Schmidt, 9 on your side.